Real Madrid faces Bayern tomorrow for the 27th time in their history in European competition. Today, Real Madrid trained in Munich after traveling to Germany earlier this morning from Spain. Furlan Mendy is back to full fitness and will start tomorrow against Bayern Munich after the French fullback was rested over the weekend against Real Sociedad. Carlo said in the press conference today that he studied Bayern's match against Arsenal and was impressed by the German side. He described Tuchel as a tactical genius. Ancelotti said that Bayern is strong in transitions. They are good at defending in a deep block and they're capable of playing the match in different ways. He can confirmed that Aurelien Chouameni would be in the starting lineup tomorrow, but he didn't specify whether he would be playing at center back or at the six. Ancelotti was asked whether Militao would start. He responded by saying he was able to play 90 minutes against Real Sociedad and looked sharp. So Militao is an option to start tomorrow, but I highly doubt he'll start this game. Thibaut Courtois is back in the squad and Carlo was also asked if he would start tomorrow and he didn't respond one way or the other, but it's very unlikely he'll play since he hasn't played any minutes minutes since his injury. It's very likely Courtois is there for his leadership and guidance to Lunin. His presence is great around the locker room. Thomas Tuchel said that Apumacano and De Ligt are training but are not fully fit and there are still questions as to whether Musiala and Sané would start. Tuchel did say that they are in treatment but he's not sure if they'll make it to the squad tomorrow. Gnabry is coming off an injury as well but it looks very likely he will start tomorrow. Tuchel said that he plans to put forward a solid tactical strategy but he'll give his players the freedom to play without restrictions. Tuchel was asked about his experience playing against this Real Madrid team when he was the manager at Chelsea and he said that today's team plays with a much different system that doesn't rely on a conventional number nine. He said his plan is to minimize the space for key players like Vinicius, Jude and other attacking players. So that sounds like a more deep block that he's potentially going to put forward in this match. When I hear Thomas Tuchel say that he wants to minimize space for key players that could mean that they're going to sit back and try to go to v1 against key players and make sure that overloads on our left sides are managed well by his team. Danny Carvajal is suspended for the first leg so it's unclear who Carlo will play at right back. Lucas Vasquez is in good form but I could also see him potentially starting Nacho at right back as a more defensive option. Typically Carlo Ancelotti tries to play a more pragmatic setup in the first leg of a tie and especially since the fact that the second leg is going to be played at the Bernabeu I could really see Ancelotti playing a more defensive lineup a more defensive strategy. I've seen some people speculate online that he was going to start with both Cruz and Modric with an emphasis on ball retention, but I highly doubt he will do anything like that in this game. The last time Real Madrid played in Germany was against Leipzig, and we were able to win with a 1-0 margin barely. And we all saw at the return leg, we ended up going through with a draw at the Bernabeu. So I bring that up just to say that this game is very likely not going to dictate how this tie ends, unless there's a huge margin of victory on one side side or the other. So tomorrow for Real Madrid, the idea will be just to take on a more pragmatic approach to be more defensive and give Bayern Munich less opportunities. But the big advantage for Real Madrid in this match is all of Bayern Munich's injuries and the fact that the second leg is at the Bernabeu. And one of the points that Thomas Tuchel brought up in the press conference as well, which I thought was a good point, which is they were able to defeat Arsenal. And since then, Arsenal has looked really good in the Premier League since their defeat to Bayern Munich. So people are kind of discounting them and saying that Bayern Munich isn't going to be competitive when I don't think that's going to be the case. But let's wait and see what happens tomorrow. Um, after the match, I'll provide a full analysis of the game uh, so make sure you all uh, stay tuned to that, like and subscribe so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. And uh, thank you for watching. Hala Madrid.